All right, so here we'll do an example involving subtraction of decimals. So here we have 80.0031 minus 4.1452. All right, so we've got 80.0031 minus uh, 4.1452. And again, I'm just, again, I just kind of subtract, you know, again, I'm going to certainly keep in mind that there is a decimal place, but to me, I'm just subtracting as though there wasn't a decimal. It's just, you know, again, the same, same normal subtraction technique. So I want to do 1 minus 2. Well, uh, you know, I need to make, uh, I can't take 2 away from 1. So let's see, I'll take, uh, we'll turn our 3 into a 2, so we'll carry a digit over, and we'll make our 1 into 11. So let's see, 11 minus 2 will be 9. Again, 2 minus 5, we can't do that. I would like to carry a digit, but notice they're all 0, 0, 0. Eventually, we'll get to our 8, so I'm going to make that into a 7. We would make this into a 10, but then we want to carry a digit from that, so that'll turn into a 9. Again, if we carry a digit, we would have a 10, but we want to make that, uh, we want to uh, carry another digit, so that'll become a 9. Our 0 would turn into a 10, but again, we need to carry a digit, so that'll turn into a 9. So our 2 will turn into a 12. So let's see, 12 minus 5 is 7. 9 minus 4 is 5. 9 minus 1 is 8. 9 minus 4 is 5. And then you can think about this as just being a 0. So we have 7 minus 0, which is 7. So it says after we do our subtraction, we're left with 75.8579 as our solution.